kitchen. We use the method to fly through windows at various angles. Here there's less than three inches of clearance on all sides of the quadrotor. We also fly between other quadrotors. The same method can be used to descend or ascend through a horizontal slot. By placing Velcro on the bottom of the quadrotor and on a target, the quadrotor can perch on a surface. Here we demonstrate perching on an inclined surface. And now on an inverted surface. We implemented an autonomous controller capable of recovering from extreme initial conditions. We can precisely track trajectories with large accelerations and velocities. We developed a method for generating trajectories to optimally fly through any number of waypoints. We can quickly generate trajectories to react to dynamic objects. In this video, we demonstrate trajectory planning and autonomous control using quadrotors of different size. Our largest quadrotor is strong and stable enough to serve as an aerial docking station for the smaller vehicles. We developed a method for planning optimal trajectories for these heterogeneous teams in 3D environments. Here we use the method to quickly transition between various formations. The method does not allow quadrotor collisions or small quadrotors to fly in the turbulent downwash of their larger counterparts. We can transition between formations while the formation itself is translating or rotating. Obstacle avoidance constraints can also be automatically enforced in this method. In this project, we use teams of quadrotors to autonomously build cubic structures for modular parts. We developed a gripper to enable the quadrotor to pick up parts either vertically or horizontally. Magnets embedded in the parts allow them to snap into place when close to the desired position. By applying a yawing moment, the quadrotor can determine if parts have been placed successfully and if necessary, retries until a solid connection is made. Using multiple quadrotors allows structures to be built more quickly.
our algorithm can construct nearly any tower-like structure like the ones shown here. We are only limited by the battery life of the quad rotors and the number of parts available.